just use Word. Or use Excel to log in data, add things like this. Eh? Or use PowerPoint, like I'm doing, to present in class. Eh? Or use the Internet to research. It's just what we had before, but we are doing it in a better way. But this is where we are. We can't stay here. The Lagos State government has reiterated its commitment to improving the education sector through technology. This is in the bid to meet the challenges of the 21st century global best practices. At this workshop organized for members of the Teaching Service Commission and Tutor General Permanent Secretaries of the six education districts in Lagos State. Our students are tech savvy already. So our teachers must be given that capacity, they must be increased in capacity to be able to teach and impart knowledge. It would not only improve on, our, on the learning outcomes, it will make us relevant, you know, in the scheme of things. They must embrace technology. Chairman of the commission, Mrs. Elizabeth Olabisi Ariyo said, the workshop was designed to build relationships and coexistence among the major players and key stakeholders in public education with a view to serving as a veritable channel for improving and bonding among participants. Teachers, administrators, everybody must move. We are in the 21st century and we cannot afford to be analog. We have to be digital. And this will be cascaded down the line to all our teachers, to principals, to administrators. Everybody must come on board because that is the way to go. On her part, the Commissioner for Education, Mrs. Folashadi Adifisayo, said the state government has also commenced the pilot installation of remote servers in riverine communities to provide internet facilities in schools in those areas. We are working on remote servers. All those remote ones in the riverine communities, we need some, some server there that can tap from the internet, it's strong enough to tap from the internet, and then the devices can then take their signals from that uh, remote server. I think it's a great initiative where the whole of TESCOM will sit together and come up with strategies for moving, the, uh, for moving TESCOM forward. I'm, I'm very excited about it. I look forward to their deliberations. I wish them all the best. I thank them for this wonderful initiative. Participants were taken through various training sessions by seasoned facilitators. We as uh, training facilitators have to ensure that we have the right knowledge and the, the right idea about what should be the, the the right intervention to be provided for training in TESCOM. So the question is, how do we plan for something we can't predict? This is a challenge facing our education system today. Lagos State has brought out a fantastic program. There's so much that has been spent on uh, infusing technology into education. They're still doing a lot more. But it requires people with an open mind who will do things. And I'm really excited about the leadership in TESCOM. As we've always wanted, Lagos State should be the flagship of education, not just in Nigeria, but in West Africa. The most important thing that I've taken away is collaboration. It is very important that the CIS Education District collaborate, of course, with the TESCOM, so that we can move education forward. We cannot work in isolation. We must come together to upscale our activities. Everything is digital. We are living in a digital age. And it is necessary that the leaders who are going to drive the program are on the same page with the government so that this knowledge will be cascaded down to the principals who will in turn implement it in their various schools along with the teachers. In this world, in this life, nothing is static. Everything is dynamic. You have to move dynamically with the changes that are taking place. And teaching and learning cannot do differently. The event is in line with the vision and commitment of the Commission's leadership and the Tutor General Permanent Secretaries of the six education districts aimed at strategizing the way forward to improve teaching and learning while leveraging on technology.